breakdown. Hey guys, Sean16 here, and welcome back to the Amazing Spider-Man 2 commentary walkthrough. And, and also, welcome to part 5 of this walkthrough. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. So, right now, and I'm no longer to do recaps. If you, if you want a recap, check back on the videos if you don't understand the storyline of where I start. Okay, right now, the, the next chapter of the game, Day of the Hunter. Oh wait, no, not next chapter, that was in the last, <laughs> that was in the last part, my bad. Okay, we still continue with this chapter, Day of the Hunter, where we meet Craven, and you see, I'm already, re forget it, I'll just, just retell the story in every commentary, that's how I'll do it. So basically, we got to meet Craven and J.J. Jameson called up S Peter to tell him to do a story on Craven. So now we're at his house. Now let's begin. Hey, uh, Mr. Mr. Cravenoff? It's me, Peter Parker, from the Daily Bugle? We spoke on the phone? It's weird that he's not talking. The, the door was open. Mr. Cravenoff? Man, there's gonna be some YouTube copyright for this song right now. This song brought to you by my Activision and Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I apologize for startling you. I am Craven. Please forgive my theatrics. I merely wish to demonstrate my skills. The videos online do that pretty well. I saw you take down that Siberian tiger with your bare hands, without hurting it. Tigers are endangered. I simply relocated the beast for its own safety, as well as that of the local villagers. True hunters wish to conserve the natural world. It is where we find peace. You're a long way from the natural world. I craved a new challenge. I came here to hunt the monsters Oscorp created. The cross species. The deadliest combination of animal and human. I ended their threat. But I grew fond of your city. And your city grew fond of me. <laughs> and I decided to stay. Except now you're hunting normal people. No! Only criminals. Only those who prey on their fellow man have anything to fear from me. Basically, to kill them. Alright, let's ask some questions. But before I do, does anyone notice the raining in the background? Heck, it was daytime and now it's suddenly nighttime and it's raining. Why couldn't Beanox put rain and nighttime in, in the Maze of Spider Man 2 video game? They put nighttime, they put like, like the daytime, like, cycle. In the Amazing Spider-Man, that means it could go to day and night in the game. But then soon enough, when you enter, after you finish the game, you get to choose any day, any day that you want to go out in the city. You could go out in the day, the evening, and the night. It doesn't really change. But for the Amazing Spider-Man 2, the the um, the weather environment has has gone down. It did not become that realistic anymore. It's just daytime throughout the entire game. Like, nothing really changes. Alright, let's ask some questions to Craven the Hunter. This new task force is sending a pretty strong message. No vigilantes. Ah, I do not trust them. They are paid for by Fisk. I am sure you've heard the rumors of his illegal activities. Sure, everyone has. But no one can prove it. 
And the police seem okay with him. Because he has paid those who are corrupt. The rest are desperate to avoid looking incompetent. Well, the public is desperate for an end to the crime wave. I have only one agenda. To get results. I do like the scale model of, like, New York that Craven made. Actually saying that Beanox made and put in the game. Based on my experience, uh, research, the police aren't big fans of vigilantes. The police had their chance to stop the crime wave. They failed miserably. I, uh, don't think they like being reminded of that. I do not wish to insult them. But it would be a far greater crime to have the power to help, but to refuse to act. Would you not agree? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I would. Exactly. Is man really the most dangerous game? In their own way, yes. But men are merely highly evolved animals. The current crime wave provides fascinating opportunities to study them. The patterns of the various factions. And what are you finding out? That criminals are not unlike beasts. They have hunting grounds, specific behaviors. Many travel in packs, but there are differences. Such as? Animals prey on others for survival. Only human beings are willfully cruel. Hmm. Beanox. Beanox, they, like, they took that big step to, like, go, like, outside the um, Spider-Man. Like, the story, like, the dialogue, like, it's not, like, it's for something that kids can't understand. Emphasis on why they made it teen for teen. But they use, like, this kind of knowledge that some people don't know. I bet anyone can understand what Craven's saying. Well, eh, most of the time. Most of the time, actually. So you're saying you feel a responsibility to use your power to help? Yes. To have such power and not use it is to be unworthy of it. Uh, well, thanks. I, I think our readers will find this very interesting. <laughs> good, good. I must take this call, but please, look around. Take pictures of anything you wish. Yes? No, I said tranquilizer darts. No, I have no interest in automatic weapons. They require no skill. I am an artist! <laughs> Copyright. Just what I want. Nighttime and raining. Makes no sense. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, Some days I want to tell Jonah Jameson who I really am just to... Camera sensi sensitivity? That would make a good photo. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this camera. 
Just normal is all. Just the image I wanted. for framing all right I hear something I can check that one off my list I know I can I know I could take a picture of this great composition pardon the interruption would you care to see my latest trophies? Do I? No, seriously. I don't feel like it, but it's part of the game, so let's go. Aha! I'll take that. I think I missed this last time in normal mode. So what you got to show me? Cross species. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my Are god. I thought Spider Man captured them. He An killed them. Solution. They escaped. He killed scorpions. So you killed them? Iguana. Saved the lives of their victims, yes. But also in self defense. And that other creature that appeared like last minute in the game. I know. Of the 2012 I mean, video game? I can imagine. More questions? Okay. Who is that? I don't know who that is. When do you consider it okay to kill? When there is no other choice. I do not take life lightly. But when it is necessary, I do not hesitate. If my failure to act cost the life of an innocent person, I could not live with myself. I know what you mean. They all had superhuman powers. How'd you beat them? I have trained myself to the peak of human ability and learned many natural means of enhancement. Not drugs, like the scum who pollute the streets. But the secrets of native cultures, herbs, potions, mysteries forgotten by so-called civilized man. Okay. Hunting criminals, some people might wonder if you're the carnage killer. <sighs> he is no hunter, but a brute, a savage. His very existence is offensive to men like myself. So even though he's hunting criminals, you'd like to take him down? Of course. He dishonors what I do. Without honor, Peter, the hunt means nothing. Hmm. It does show a little bit of uh, real realism on the face, since he got that sweat gland on the f on the f on his forehead. The last question. Is there anything you haven't accomplished yet? Ah, uh, yes. I would like to leave a legacy when I am gone. Pass my training to a protege. My only family is a brother who... Um, chose a different path. I never had a son, but... Perhaps... Uh, forgive me. I am becoming melancholy as I get older. So, do you have what you need, Mr. Parker? Yeah, I think I do. Hmm. So he killed the scorpion. As he died with a smile. Unless I think it is. Kill the iguana. 
who had resemblance to the lizard. And this thing. Was it Natty or something? I think it was called Natty. That's what Beanox called it. These were all from like the previous Amazing Spider-Man video game. Cross-species genetics. I swear this one creeped me out the most. More than the lizard. Now let's get out of here. I don't want to listen to this piano music anymore. Let's get out of here. I can't stand piano music. Do I want to leave? Of course I do. Why would I want to stay? Into the lion's den. Okay. And into the lion's den. So. We continue on. Whitney! Whitney? Should I be jealous? Who is this? That's no way to talk to a lady. Or even me. Uh, Alicia? This is the number I gave Whitney Chang. How'd you get it? Talking right front of her aunt. Talking right front of his aunt. A cat burglar. And then I get my hands on things I'm not supposed to. How about you, Spider? Do you ever get your hands on things you're not supposed to? I heard you were back in jail. Listen, if you're calling to tease me about breaking out... I'm insulted. I can think of a lot more fun things to tease you about. If you're smart, you'll get out of town before I find the time to chase you. Funny. That's what I was going to say to you. Things are getting dangerous around here, Spider. Why don't we chase each other out of town, hmm? I'm too busy to fool around with you. <laughs> I, I mean, play games with you. Bye, Felicia. Let's get a new costume. Craven likes to hunt. Sp Spider Noor is all about stealth. And put those two together, you can make a good hunter. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, that that wraps up part five. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and if you want, share it. And also look us up on Twitter and Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Did I say Will? Uh, K-Man 4 is not right here. It's not here right now. Heck, he's never here. I mean, I'll see you next time. Whoops. I mean part 6. Oh, jeez. It's all bang, bang, bloody bang.